I just announced this week's winner of the cutest little baby Laravel elephant for my Twitter contest. Behind the scenes, I used some awesome new Laravel tech to create the app that chose the winner, but it wasn't as easy as I thought. Hi, my name's Shane, and I've been building Laravel apps for over a decade. Software development can seem really tricky sometimes, and for the most part, it is. My goal is simple, to inspire, empower, and teach individuals just like you who want to pursue a career in software development. And I've been through it all, from the challenges to the triumphs, the whole journey from beginner to expert, and I want to share my experience with you. This last week, we saw two first party packages come out of the Laravel community. Folio, which aims to be a powerful page-based router designed to simplify routing in Laravel applications. Additionally, we got our first peek at Bolt, an elegantly crafted functional API for Livewire that supports single file components, allowing a component's PHP logic and blade templates to coexist in the same file. Before I continue, I want to give a big shout out to Jason Beggs. I was totally stuck trying to get these two packages to work with each other. Thankfully, it was a simple fix that I never would have found without him. Let me show you what happened. To demonstrate, I'm going to start with a fresh Laravel application by running Laravel new contest winner. Awesome. Now let's open that up in PHP Storm. Following along with the docs, let's composer require Laravel folio, run the install command. Now heading over to Volt's documentation so we can grab the composer require commands necessary to install it and run the php artisan volt install command. Behind the scenes, I'm also going to install Tailwind CSS. Now, inside of our resources, views, directory, I'm going to create a new directory called components, another directory inside of that called layouts, and a file named app Dot blade dot PHP, and we'll paste this in. Let's remove this h1 tag because that's not necessary. Instead, we'll add our slot. Now to make sure our environment is set up and working, I went ahead to contest-winner.test in our browser. Now this view does not load Tailwind CSS for us, so we're going to go ahead and comment that out. And while we're here, we're going to test Folio. So inside of our resources, views, pages directory, let's go ahead and add a file called followers.blade.php. And I'm going to paste a little bit of code. This X hyphen layouts the app is going to tell Laravel that we want to include that app.blade.php file that we made. Now, fingers crossed. Let's go to the followers URL, and this would verify that Folio is working. Awesome. So Folio is working and Tailwind's working. We're ready to start building out our Vault component. Now let's head over to Vault, grab this little bit of code here, paste it at the top of our file, and replace everything inside of this xlayouts.app with this code and we'll refresh our page. Why isn't that working? What's going on? I seriously spent about 15 minutes trying to debug this before I reached out to my buddy. And let that be a lesson to everybody. If you get stuck, ask for help. That's what people are there for, right? So it turns out, because we're using Folio, what I needed to do was wrap anything that I want to be reactive with this at volt syntax. Now if we refresh, we should see, aha, let me zoom in here. It looks like we have a button that should call this increment function and watch our count increase. Perfect. To save some time and because this isn't really a Twitter API tutorial, uh, I went ahead and grabbed the JSON representation of all of my followers. I went to storage app and added my followers.json file right here. Back inside of my component, now I can um, include the mount function. And inside of the state function, I need to update the variables that we care about. Followers and a winner. Next, inside of our mount function, we need to get that JSON data 
from our storage path, JSON decode it, and grab the data array inside of it. Awesome, now let me just paste my HTML and refresh the page. You can see we're doing basic Laravel blade things here. For each of our followers, we're gonna display an image, put their name. If we have a winner, we're gonna display that winner. If not, we're gonna use this elephant.png that I just brought in. Let's refresh the page. There he is. At the top, we have this select winner button that's gonna call this function called select random. Let me grab the code for that. Here's that select random function. All we're doing is setting this winner to a random follower from the collection method. Easy. Now by clicking the select winner button, we should see a random follower appear every time we click it. Awesome. Next, let's spice it up just a little bit by including that confetti package. Going back to our layouts.app file, let's use the JS Deliver CDN. At the bottom of the body, let's include the JS Confetti initialization. Then, inside of app.js, we'll import it. Let's not forget to include app.js inside of our v include. And let's restart npm run dev. Back in our code, all we have to do now is after a winner selected, is run this JS and then some of the JavaScript that makes JS Confetti work. Let's give that a try. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Thanks for coming along. I hope you learned how Laravel Volts and Laravel Folio work best together by using the at volts and end at volts syntax around the parts of your components that need to be reactive. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, Laravel Online, and follow me over on Twitter to keep the party going. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.